Hey everybody, this is Jake Ramo with Broco Gaming, and today we're going to talk about how to get yourself a 3DD1E, or better known as Eddie Oz Kit. First up here, I'm going to be showing you how to get to Claplek, the route that we take. I'm going to start off at the fast travel in the Lunar Launching Station, and make our way all the way to him. Now this is one of the fastest routes that I've found. If you have a faster route, please let us know what it is in the comments down below. So let's talk about the 3DD1E, or better known as Eddie Oz Kit. This is a legendary Oz Kit that is pretty much hands down one of the best Oz Kits in the game. And one of the best things about it is, unlike many other things, you can actually farm for this item. But you have to do something very particular. You have to complete the Eradicate mission in a very particular way. When you get to the end of the Eradicate mission, you're going to have the choice to either destroy Claplek or secure Claplek. And you secure them by hitting the little console and it's going to secure the doors and lock them inside. This is the choice that you have to choose if you want to farm for the 3DD1E later on. If you kill Claplek, you will not be able to farm. He will not respawn again. Also, you'll notice if you secure them in here that one of the even better things, you'll get a double farm for your money because when you come back down here, Clackbleck will be down here and he drops the 3DD1E and you can also farm Egghood who drops the Blowfly, which by the way is a pretty freaking nice gun to come back here with and kill Clackbleck since it's corrosive. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the Eddie Oz kit, just check out this video of ours that we posted before where Kitchen Wench goes through exactly what the Eddie Oz kit does. Now, it's a first look and there hasn't been much that has changed since we did that video. Just note that the only thing that we're off on is that it, the red letters of this Oz kit are not a reference to R2-D2 like we thought when we first came across it. It's actually a reference to the ED-E character in the Far Cry New Vegas, I think, game. I don't know, I didn't play it. So overall, the Eddie Oz kit is well worth farming for. This is something that you're going to want to keep on you or in your backpack at all times, pretty much. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps us out. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. This is Jake Starama, signing off.